Hello friends, I'm Urvashi and today in this video I'm going to be talking about the transits for the month of February 2019 for all the uh, zodiac signs. So we'll start with Aries. So this month is looking great. Uh, right in the uh, first week around the 5th of this month, the Ascendant Lord, Mars is going to come uh, in the Ascendant. So Mars is, you know, going to come to the first house to the sign of Aries. Mars is going to be its, in, in its Mool Tricone sign. So your guardian angel is back on track, is going to be where it should be always. And in the 10th house, we have Sun and Mercury. So that's again looking really good, Sun in the 10th uh, house with Mercury, of course, along with Ketu. In the 9th house, we're going to have Venus and Saturn. The 8th house is still Jupiter. Rahu is in the 4th house. Ketu, like I said, is in the 10th house with Sun and Mercury. So this month is actually looking better than uh, the last few months really for uh, Aries. After the fifth, the Ascendant Lord is going to be in the Ascendant. Before the fifth, of course, uh, the Ascendant Lord Mars is still going to be in the 12th house. So yes, lots of effort, lots of struggle, lots of, you know, uh, expenditure of your energy and you may not be getting a lot of results. You know, you may not have gotten a lot of results in the last one month or so. But this month, you're going to start feeling very confident. You're going to be feeling very, uh, you know, you, you're going to be wanting to take a lot of initiative. You're going to feel confident and strong and uh, communicative. There's going to be a lot of communication in your workplace. There could be a lot of communication related to uh, some government agencies. There could be, you know, the signing of a contract. If you've been looking to do that, you could be signing some kind of a contract this month. Uh, there could be uh, ma many of you who, who've been looking for uh, some kind of a business partnership or to start some kind of a business venture where you're expecting others to support and help you. Uh, that could be initiated this month uh, once you have after the 5th. After about the 5th, you could initiate some kind of a business uh, uh, venture where you could have a tie-up, the signing of a contract. A new business deal so that could be happening for you this month but depending again on the promise of your natal chart the transit is looking great depending on the promise of your natal chart if there is some affliction then this transaction could go wrong depending on your dasha depending on your natal chart because ketu is still in the picture we still have ketu in the 10th house with sun and mercury but uh, the distance is quite a bit now between these planets the conjunction is not very close but again depending on uh, your the shy, depending on the promise in your chart, uh, depending on the kind of planets you have in the 10th house. So we already have Ketu there, one matter of fact, we have Sun there, which is a very, very strict planet transiting your 10th house. So things are looking good in transit. But like I said, if there is some major affliction in the 10th house for you in your natal chart, and the Dasha isn't very supportive. Be very careful about your public image. Be very careful about any contracts, anything that you're going to be signing this month. Relationships are not looking that great this month. Be very careful. Uh, the latter half of this month, especially after, let's say, the 24th, 25th of this month, uh, those people who are looking for a relationship may find somebody in the office. Uh, but this may not turn out to be very productive for you. So a uh, little bit of a strain, little bit of a distance in relationship, you would be very interested in, you know, uh, taking up some kind of an education related to different cultures, different religions. Uh, so that is the uh, theme this month. You would be interested in that kind of a thing. You would feel very ambitious in the latter half of this month. You, And there could be a status change. There could be a change in position. There could be a gain of status, uh, promotion this month, especially those people who are expecting it. And the promises there in your chart, the Dasha is favorable because Sun Mercury are transiting the 10th house and then they together move to the 11th house for, for the rest of this month, which is really looking good. It, it is only after the 25th that uh, Mercury will be moving to the 12th house. So then there could be a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of wasteful expenditure. It, that part of this month is also looking good for those people who are involved in some kind of a creative pro project. So the latter, uh, the end part of Merc uh, February is looking good if you are interested in some kind of a creative project. Most of the month, this month is going to be very good for those people who are, you know, uh, interested in IT in some kind of an invention in uh, information technology and uh, some kind of creativity uh, related to information and technology so for those people the rest of this month is looking good and for promotions for status change again this month is looking great so this is actually a great month for uh, aries other than relationships which may not 
look very very positive this month so i would say where relationships are concerned where your where your marriage is concerned where your family is concerned uh spend some time there be a little patient there because mars is in the ascendant and again depending on the promise in your chart you may get a little too aggressive sometimes you may get a little too outspoken sometimes so be careful of that professionally this is a great month for you better than many you know previous months that you've had so that is all for aries now i'm going to be talking about taurus so for taurus this month uh well for those who are looking to get into some kind of a relationship the probability is very high that you will be meeting somebody this uh, month uh, but also remember this could be a very secretive kind of a relationship something that you may not very obviously want uh, everybody to know uh, many of you who have a promise could get into an affair which may you know cause you stress and mental trouble for those who uh, are expecting an inheritance it looks like a good month for you for those who are expecting uh gains through a partnership again a good month for you you will be gaining through a partnership uh you will be gaining through uh your spouse's money you would be gaining through income that your spouse brings in your own health is not looking so good this month do take care of your health you would be very very interested in uh, uh other cultures religions philosophy higher education many of you would be traveling for education many of you would be joining some kind of a university this month uh maybe even in a foreign country where you'd like to take some kind of an you know course some kind of a education that you've been wanting to do for quite a while uh your fifth lord and your second lord is in the ninth house with the planet sun so many of you would be joining some kind of university many of you would be traveling abroad many of you would like to communicate about religion philosophy cultures and then uh in the latter part of this month uh it's really looking good for any kind of a promotion any gains through government any uh like any types you want to do since jupiter is also in your 7th house so you're very open to business opportunities new business ventures and uh, in the latter half of this month after the 15th of this month once sun and mercury have moved into your 10th house you could be starting some kind of a new project you could be doing some kind of a new tie up but do be very very careful because uh venus is uh, afflicted in the uh eighth house right now venus is with the planet saturn so venus is also our leg you know our luxury and wealth and all that so be very careful where you're investing so and then venus of course moves into your ninth house but there it's going to be conjunct with ketu so you got to be extra cautious about where you are you know investing where you're spending your money but this month definitely the latter half is looking great especially for service people uh for people who want to you know who are into the communication line for people who are into some kind of an invention it for it people it's again looking a great month especially the last part of this month for the it people it's looking a great month for people who uh are thinking of expanding the network circle again it's a great month for all of you so you're going to be you kind of expanding your network circle meeting a lot of new people by the end of this month and you're going to be very communicative you're going to be partying quite a bit so good month for for the zodiac sign of uh, taurus also F financially looking great this month health is one issue you need to be careful about and uh, the kind of relationships you enter into be very careful about that because that is the area that could give you some kind of a trouble this month so that is all for taurus we'll now be talking about gemini for gemini again this is looking like a great month especially for relationships those people who've been wanting to enter some kind of a relationship you probably will get into some kind of a relationship you're going to be very conscious of your public image uh, you're going to be working on your public image you're going to be meeting a lot of uh, especially ladies in uh, you know you're going to be interacting with a lot of ladies this month and you're going to be very conscious of your public image and you're going to feel very ambitious and there could be some th some kind of a uh, new project a new business that you may want to start this month you will want to invest uh, in long term you know investments like you do investments for your children and also gemini people would be interested in doing some kind of an investment long term investment this month you would also be interested in speculation a little bit especially if you have the promise in your chart you would be interested in speculation you would be interested in doing long term uh <clears throat> investments you would be interested in communicating about uh, you know uh, your insurances your medical insurance your health insurance you would be discussing that with your partner quite a bit this month and you would plan those things out for yourself those interested in uh, astrology would be more communicative any kind of an occult any kind of a hidden science you'd be more communicative about all that uh, in the second half of this month you could take up some kind of a 
uh, educational course, some kind of a higher education. Uh, there you would become more communicative about philosophy, religion, uh, other cultures, and you could uh, want to take up some kind of a higher education or course with a university, or you could be traveling long distance for some kind of a, uh, education and course. So you could be moving away from home, or temporarily you could be going away from home. This one month, uh, that is how this month is going to unfold for you. For those uh, uh, who are looking for a relationship, the first half of the month is definitely better than the second half of the month. Relationships that you may enter in in the second half of the month would may not last too long. They would last for about a month and a half, and then they would kind of fizzle out. Those relationships would be very, uh, <clears throat> you know, more connected to your sexual interests. They would not be long-lasting kind of relationships. Also, uh, those expecting some kind of an inheritance or some kind of a legacy or something from insurance or gains through other people's money, gains through your spouse's money. So that all could be happening for you this month. So this is again a good month for uh, Gemini as well. The last part of this month, right, the last five, seven days of this month, you would uh, become very communicative if you are if you have something to do with the government something to do with the authorities you would become more communicative about that you would be more into public relations this month so this month is all about public relations education insurances do take care of your health uh, especially the early part of this month take care of your health your health could definitely be in trouble don't be casual uh, about health this month uh, sudden hidden agendas could come up so and also do be careful about whatever investments you're planning to do have your chart assessed your natal chart assessed and only then go ahead with that i'm not suggesting that you do it i'm just telling you that you would be interested in that kind of a thing this month so good month for gemini as well not talking about cancer well for cancer we still have rahu in the ascendant ketu in the seventh house which is going to be conjunct sun and mercury for the first half of this month saturn is in the sixth house in the fifth house we still have jupiter and uh, <clears throat> the planet mars is going to move into your 10th house by the 5th 6th of this month and it's going to be there for most of this month so uh, let's see what this month looks like for this month uh cancerians are going to feel very ambitious are going to be very focused about status name fame about growth about profession uh, so much so that there could be an amount of uh, ego that uh, cancerians feel this month they may feel overconfident and egoistic and you know even dom dominating others sometimes in order to achieve their interests their goals they may sometimes not consider other people's interests and they may be in too much of a hurry to achieve their goals and targets this month also for uh, cancer people this month you uh, romance is not looking that great this is not going to be one of those romantic months with, for you you're going to be focused on you know enhancing or improving your daily routine you're going to be focused on uh, you know talking to your boss about increasing your salary as it is the months of march april are coming when we have the annual reviews in india at least we have them in march april so you would be communicating with your bo boss you know to improve your work environment uh, in to improve to enhance or give you a good bonus or give you a good hike this month you would be more focused about your public Im image you would be interacting more with people uh, if there is some kind of a contract or a deal that you got to sign that could be happening this month for you for those who are that are looking for some kind of a relationship it's only by the end of this month that uh, you could be you know meeting somebody after the 25th of this month you may also be very interested in the latter half of this month after the 15th you may be very interested in uh, speculation in investments in uh, inheritances that is looking bright for you if you are expecting because your son is your second lord posited in your eighth house expecting the second house uh, so that is looking good for you so money through inheritances could be coming for you this month money through insurances money through other people's you know other people you may be benefiting from other people's money this month so that too could be happening for you the last part of this month after the 25th could have a lot of travel for you could have a lot of communication related to philosophy cultures religions could also have uh, uh, education long distance travel and education for you you may start some kind of a new course after the 25th of this month so this month is definitely looking good for cancer people as well 
do take care of your uh, attitude in your workplace do not be so focused about growth about status about fame that you you know forget about the other things in your life you forget about people uh, around you do not you know t- do take care of your relationships do take care of people in your workplace uh, do not get over aggressive with your work do not get over impulsive do not get over confident so these are the few you know things that i would like to sp- to tell cancer people to take care of generally it's looking a, like a good month but yes in the latter half of the month do take care of your health uh, especially your digestion and your eyesight so these are the two uh, areas of concern uh, the rest of the month this is good it's good for business it's good for growth it's it's a great month for your work environment for your workplace and it's a great month to talk to your boss for a salary hike so that is all for cancer we'll now be talking about leo well for leo this month uh, looks like a very romantic month for you uh looks like a month where you would be spending a lot of uh, time with your children you would be playing all kinds of games going for you know uh you know activities where you would involve your children like a fun park or <clears throat> like some other kind of an entertainment park where children enjoy so you would be indulging in a lot of fun activities with your children or you could also be getting into some kind of a romantic relationship depending on uh the stage you're going through life also uh this month your focus is going to be on your health very much you going to be concerned about your health you may be traveling for your for some health issue you may have to travel a bit for that you would be concerned about your diet about your fitness uh you would be focusing your energy and your communication all related to your work you would want to improve your work environment you would want to be more communicative with your co-workers your boss your superiors would be favorable for you they would prove to be beneficial for you you would get some kind of a growth some kind of a uh, bonus this month which if it has been due you probably will get it this month so health is one concern area for you uh but don't get so focused on uh, you know just improving things in your workplace that somehow you know sometimes you may tend to trample on the interests of your co-workers you may be so concerned about your own interests that sometimes uh in this transit we tend to trample upon other people's interests Pe- other people who are working with us so take care of that aspect of uh, your life this transit is also very good especially the latter half of this month this month is very good for any kind of public relation any kind of negotiation bargaining any deals that you need to sign so for all that for your public image you would be more communicative with people as a for a public relation person this is like a great month for you uh also this month your ego may somehow be connected to your viewpoint uh, that is also very strongly uh, etched for you this month you may get egoistic where your viewpoint is concerned whatever your view your philosophy your ideas are you may get a little egoistic about that and uh, sometimes you know we tend to end up making enemies because of that so you know be a little more open where your viewpoint and others viewpoint is concerned don't bring your ego in don't get hung up with your own ideas everybody has their own ideas so that is the one negative of this month long distance travel do be careful about depending on your dasha uh, there could be minor accidents and minor mishaps that you may have to go through if you are traveling long distance so depending on your dasha the promise of your chart so this transit can also prove to have that for you as well uh generally it's going to be a good month for you because uh, jupiter is now like in one of your kendra houses you may have some kind of a new opportunity in your workplace your ninth lord is also very well placed in the ninth house just do not get too egoistic do not get too hung up do not get too self obsessed where your work is concerned where your public image and your growth is concerned that sometimes you tend to uh, you may end, end up ignoring other people's interests in your workplace you will be more communicative with your business partners with your a uh, spouse so that is all looking good for you business uh, it's it's a time for growth for business for virgo people well this month is going to be great for those people who are into speculation uh but i'm not saying that you do it uh, please have your uh, natal chart assessed if you really want to get into something like that the transit is favorable but your the promise in your chart and the dasha is also very important so the transit is favorable for those people who are interested in speculation and those that are uh, interested in child psychology also it's a great month you would be more communicative this month about your thoughts you would be less of uh, a hearer you would be more of a communicator a talker you would want to share your thoughts with everybody 
you would be more interested in games sports entertainment spending your time with children you would be more romantic this month those that uh, want to get into a relationship you probably would you know get into a romantic relationship and uh, this could be a relationship that could you know quickly turn into a sexual relationship as well for those that want children again it's a great month if you if you want a child it's a great month so good month for uh, virgo that way the second half of the month is going to be more focused towards uh, your work environment your workplace your health uh you go to maybe travel a little bit for health issues you going to be more focused about your diet your health routine and diet is going to be very important for you this month you would want to uh, clarify all the clutter in your workplace you would want to you know improve your work environment your seniors your superiors would be very impressed with your work uh if those that are expecting some kind of a growth promotion great the second half of this month is looking great for that it's a good month for public relation for negotiation bargaining the last part just the last 5 days are good month it's a good time if you want to buy something you want to negotiate you want to bargain uh it's a good month for you people as well this month you would want to be spending more time at home for those people who are interested in uh interior designing uh those that deal in cars or those that uh, you know are into real estate so it's going to be a booming month for you people also this month is looking good for you some of you may tend to gain weight some of you may tend to uh you know your health would be questionable because of bad food habits because because of a little bit of a sedentary lifestyle so then you in the latter half of the month you may be checking yourself and you may be forming some kind of a health routine and you may be taking more better care of your health so the month is looking like a comfortable month where you would be you know indulging in partying in a, in you know eating rich food and uh, so this may show up on your health a little bit later on so do take care of your health do not get too comfortable and too you know uh, you know uh, careless with your partying and having people over and whining and dining and that kind of a thing take care of your health because it may show up in the latter part of this month you could come up with some kind of a health issue business is looking good uh, promotion growth your superiors uh, the government generally will be favorable for you like i said good month for uh, bargaining for negotiating the last part of this month is looking good uh, romantic relationships are looking good for those that are planning a child or getting wanting a you know getting into some kind of a relationship again this month is looking good just the just the um you know f- first 15 days are great and the last part of this month is good for relationships in the middle you may have kind of a dry spell for for a few days so uh, not generally it's a good month for for virgo as well 